Okay, so this is a daily quest and you get uh, money out of it. Not actual money, you get items that you can sell as I was ex uh, explaining a while ago. You can sell them for like 700k each or more, something like that. So it means that every day you earn 4.2 million zenny uh, in value because you still have to sell the item, right? The giant face worm snake skin. Uh, we're going to refer to it as GFSS. So uh, for convenience's sake. So we're, we're going to talk to, to Chaos. And then we'll uh, we'll do easy mode. It's just recommended for uh, for you to do easy mode to get the the. It doesn't matter if you get easy mode or hard mode. Okay, so uh, easy mode is just quicker to complete because your main objective here is just the GFSS. Okay, so uh, yeah, hard mode is a little bit harder. Uh, you can maybe do it if like you're more powerful. Uh, if you're powerful enough, but uh, uh, yeah, if your objective is just the GFSS, you can do easy mode, doesn't matter, every day. It doesn't change the amount of GFSS that you get, but uh, you do get slotted uh, GFSS when you do hard mode. There's this chance to get the slotted ones, but uh, don't, uh, those don't, it doesn't really matter. So we're doing just the easy mode. The easy mode has less face worms in the field. So as you can see, there are now 29 face worms. Uh, okay. So let's find them. So the build that I'm going for is the Adoramus build. Right? So this is the skill. Uh, I've talked about the Archbishop skills in, in, in my video. In my YouTube channel, so you can go check that out. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, dispatch these face worms. There's a hell of a lot more face worms when in hard mode. Okay, so you've got to be careful with that. And the final boss is actually quite harder, uh, obviously, in hard mode. So. What happens is uh, you you might uh, if you don't kill it quickly, it is like really strong AOE skills that you can't really dodge in any way, shape, or form. So it's going to uh, kill you inevitably, and it's going to cost you some of your tokens of Siegfried. So we can actually uh, kill the uh, face worms with a single Adoramus, which is nice. But uh, if you don't one hit uh, the face worms, it's going to be uh, a tougher challenge. And then after we're done, we're done with the dailies. Uh, we can go uh, level up. Yeah, because we're targeting level 200. I'm already 183. Uh, once we get to 200, we can advance our job to Cardinal. And I can finally experience uh, being a Cardinal for the first time. Because it's my first time playing again since before the launch of the 4th classes. So there's actually a 4th class now. Which is, I was surprised because uh, I'm a long time, I'm an old time player of Ragnarok, but I didn't get to, I didn't get wind of the news of a of, of fourth job being released. It was earlier this, uh, earlier this year. So I was kind of interested in checking it out. So this is one of the mini bosses, all right, the face worm uh, mini boss. And then when you kill it, right? You get a treasure chest, and uh, the treasure chest is uh once you click on it. Oh, there's a there's a bot in chat. Uh, once you click on it, you get a garment. This garment is the GFSS or the giant face worm skin. Uh, the giant face worm snake skin GFSS or yeah GFSS. So let's continue. 
Okay. Okay, so Chaos and Iris uh, are actually characters. Can they're canon characters from the Ragnarok uh, manga? So that's interesting to see. Uh, I recommend you finish their uh, conversation before you walk forward, because the face worms don't spawn until they finish their conversation. And if you're too far forward. And then the face worms spawn, you're going to be immediately surrounded by the face worms. And it's going to be tough if you, like, don't want to hit them. Right? You're going to be, you're going to end up getting mobbed. So, once the, con uh, once the conversation between Chaos and Iris is over, you can just kind of go ahead and, uh, like, uh, move forward. Uh, the thing is, in the face worm nest instance, uh, there isn't a map available. As you can see on the upper right corner of the screen, the navigator isn't available. It doesn't show an actual map. So uh, uh, you can go to the IRO wiki to uh, research this, uh, to search this thing, and you can actually find a map there. And it tells you where the next, uh, where the boss uh, spawn points are, and it tells you where the next uh, the portal to the next level is so it's kind of useful when you're starting out but uh, you're going to do you're going to do this every day you're going to get used to it okay so let's just do a quick sweep and eliminate all of the uh, face worms it's the same thing you eliminate all of the uh, all of the face worms right Wow, there's there's a bunch of bots in my stream. I don't know if these are bots or or, or stuff, but uh, they're actually promoting uh, like a boost boosting service. No, I'm not interested in that. Does it actually show in our chat though? Yeah, it does. That's interesting. So uh, my friend on Discord just uh, confirmed that the cats are actually still in the game. So, uh, yeah, we'll go check him out later. He sent me a screenshot. Maybe it's, it's not loading for me. I don't know. There are still 10 face worms left. Okay. The larva, uh, the larva, uh, this one, right? So e e it's not actually just one. It it's a bunch of them all stacked together, right? So you have to be really careful with that because uh, the damage can stack up uh, really quickly and really fast. And it's, it's kind of... It's kind of... Uh, What are they talking about? Bilis. Uh, they're talking about the illusion dungeons. What level is this guy? Okami. What is his name? Probably this guy. 175. Let's talk to them and ask them where they are. Uh, let's not talk to them. We are doing our own thing. Uh, yeah, let's not disturb them. They're leveling up. Four face worms. Two face worms left. So that's the thing with this uh, face worm dungeon. You have to actually find if you miss a spot. Uh, if you've missed uh, the the uh, 
A giant face worm finally. Uh, you, you, if you miss a spot, you're gonna have to like double back. It takes a, uh, quite a bit of time, but you know, you get used to it. A giant face worm appeared, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, where does the face worm uh, mini boss for this level spawn? I kind of forget. Oh, there he is. Uh, this guy uses water ball, so that's the difference from the first level. This guy actually uses uh, a spell called water ball, and it's one of the uh, painful skills. You know, I have high magic defense. Oh, uh, excuse me. That's why. Oh, what's my magic defense? Uh, two two hundred ninety plus sixty five. That's three hundred fifty something. Okay. And the portal going to the next level is uh, somewhere out here in the south side of the map, if I remember correctly. All right. So my friend says oh, 100, he's just hit level 100 with his alternate account, which is also a priest. Uh, 6.55 p.m. And now he's doing his second daily quest. Let's reply to him. So uh, we came from this portal, so you have to be careful. We're going to go uh, to this portal next because... Uh, you're gonna know because there are like rocks uh on the on the vicinity right because uh the game tells you that you hear the sound of rocks it's kind of like playing dungeons and dragons right so uh the game tells you that you hear the sound of rocks falling down a path might have uh, opened so you go to you go to that so whenever you see like this that's that's the next uh that's the next stage so here we have uh chaos and iris again let's talk to chaos and then wait for the conversation to uh finish okay so in this stage uh there are actually mines in the area you can actually attack the mines before they go off so that's a thing but the thing is you have to uh like kill it in one hit So uh, you just have to walk really, really carefully over here, okay? So this is what I'm talking about. So I can hit it with the other... I can clear them out quite quickly because uh, Adoramus has quite a bit of range, okay? So let's clear those out. And then same thing, same thing. Oh, I got hit. And then same thing, same thing. Uh, you're going to... Uh, uh, clear the area from uh, face worms and then go to the next level and things like that. Did I actually get the face worm skin? Okay, from the previous level. So you can check if you have two, that means uh, you've got the face worm skin. Okay. So, uh, fast cast, uh, insta cast Adoramus. It's really helpful uh, with the face worm instance, right? Okay, so let's clear out the mines. Uh, we have two viewers. Welcome to the stream. You can uh, watch me do my daily quests, and then later we'll go on uh, and level up, okay? So we'll show you my leveling spots, okay? So where are the face worms, though? There we are. There we go. 31. We have 31 face worms still alive.
Okay, how many? Nine. There's still nine more. Okay, let's go. There are also other monsters in the area as well, but they're kind of just there for flavor and they're not really a, a threat to you. So, uh, but you have to be careful though if you're like quite low leveled. Uh, the greatest general, general could be quite uh, painful. Okay. So a giant face worm suddenly appeared. If I'm not mistaken, he's like in the center of the map. There we go. And I kill him in two to three hits. <laughs> so my friend just said that he's quitting uh, Adoramus uh, Archbishop. <laughs> Because the cast time is so slow. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning, if you're like a magic user, like, so wizards, sorcerers, uh, uh, archbishops, and uh, magic type stalkers, you know, it's going to be quite difficult because casting is uh, a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to have low dexterity. Uh, as uh, as I've mentioned earlier, dexterity and intelligence are the two stats that decrease your variable cast time, and you need a high amount of those. A fair amount, even if I'm like, look, I have two, 125 dex and 125 int, and I still can't insta cast Adoramus without food. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. That's a lot of eggs. Exploding eggs. That's uh, that's the danger in this stage. Exploding edge eggs. What do you know? Oh my god. There's a lot of them. But luckily, I can insta-kill them with Adoramus, right? But uh, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure where the exit is. Um, is this the one? This is the one, right? Yeah. Okay. The Voice of Chaos. Hey, adventurers, you should be careful. Avoid the poison. So this stage has, like, poison. Don't move because the poison kind of appears, yeah, like that. So if you move forward and then the, the poison appears on top of you, it's going to be hard because your character will flinch uh, if you don't have enduring skills. And uh, it's going to be difficult. Let me show you what it does. So if you walk on it, it's going to be really difficult. Yeah. I have a barrier skill. So if you look at this, I have a barrier skill. So I can save myself from that. And it allows me to walk around it freely. Right? So look at this. See? I can, I can just walk through it. And it doesn't poison me because... In reality, uh, it's not actually poison. I mentioned this in my uh, uh, skill tier video uh, when I was cover when I was talking about uh, Kyrie Elison uh, Ke, right? So uh, what you can do is you can just cast it on yourself and then like walk walk through it, which is kind of useful in this situation, right? Because now you can just look for look for the face worms without ever having to worry about the the poison field. And the the way it works is that it's not actually poison. You don't actually get poison from it. It's a um, what should we call it? Uh, the way it's scripted in the game is like it's an actual monster that's dealing damage to you, neutral priority damage. So it's not like See, 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 look at that. I'm hitting it. It's like an invisible placeholder that takes one damage regardless. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah.
if you like damage it with AoE, uh, one damage, like, uh, there's one number comes out, right? So, uh, it's treated like an actual monster that's uh, dealing damage to you, that's masquerading as a poison field. So, that's the way they scripted it in the game. Okay. Okay. How many face firms? We have nine. It's always displayed on the top portion. Okay. So you can check that if you want to know how many face firms you still have to hunt uh, in the area. Okay. Uh, four of them, right? We still have four of them. It's such a shame that my friend doesn't want to continue the Adoramas build anymore. It's because of the... Uh, it's because of the uh, slow cast times. So we've got three garments now. We've got three GFSS now. And uh, we're about to get the fourth one, I reckon. Yeah, this is the fourth one. So some players, because they have a lot of characters, they stop here because some of their alts can't handle the big boss, uh, the big boss fight uh, from the, uh, the, the giant face worm uh, queen. So uh, what they do is uh, they stop at this point, they exit the dungeon. Right, but if they have a character that's like high powerful enough, yeah, why not? Because the giant face worm snake queen actually gives you two two of these, right? So each of them are like four hundred k a piece. So like one, two, three, four, and then if you kill the final boss, you get six because you get two more, right? So you get six. So that's kind of like four four point two million uh, in one day. If you manage to sell it, like the value, I'm talking about the value. You don't earn the money outright. You still have to sell it uh, personally or through vending. Okay. So let's talk to Chaos again. And then, uh, yeah. So Chaos is painted uh, as kind of like a hot headed. Uh, troublemaker kind of like a phoenix in valorant that's kind of brash and like uh goes to things uh head on right so uh right here what happens is like uh we discover a huge hole in the ground and then chaos is just like ah uh let's check it out and then like he's like and then he goes inside and there there's a huge uh giant face worm snake and then he's like, ah, oh, I was close to being eaten alive. Classic chaos, right? You can actually check out the Ragnarok, the actual Ma Ragnarok manga. It's actually quite interesting. So uh, let's get ready for the boss fight. Okay, so here comes the boss fight. That's the face worm queen. Okay, so we can just spam Adoramus and it's dead. So you can see a huge chunk of damage, right? All of a sudden, my HP went to uh, less than half. So if, if it's like the hard mode, I'm not going to be able to outheal that damage to survive uh, the damage because he does, uh, he does it quite multiple times as well. And I'm not going to be able to outheal it with my high heal while dealing Adorama's damage. And I'm going to end up dying. So I, uh, the last time I did this, I actually died three. Uh, I mean, the last time I did hard mode, I died like three times. 
And uh, yeah, so we have two pieces of giant face worm snake skin. And that's the end of the dungeon.